If you're a lover of the game of golf, then why not combine that with a great cause and raise some money at the same time? The links, the, excuse me, the links for leukemia is coming up on Monday, and Melissa Jacobowski and Steve Gunner are here from the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society to tell us all about this amazing charity event. Good morning, you guys. How are you? Good. Morning. How are you? Doing great. I want to start with you, Steve. Tell me about your son, Nick, because he sounded amazing. Well, he was um, he was uh, diagnosed with leukemia in 2012. Um, fought for 18 months, mm -hmm. had uh, a couple of stem cell transplants, but um, unfortunately passed away in April 2013. So you know we honour his name and continue to raise money for for him. And and he's you know he's generated huge amounts of interest. I think most of us attached mm -hmm. to. LLS have some kind of personal connection mm -hmm. and um, you know and that helps obviously in our in our efforts. Well I think you're doing such a great job in honoring him by doing what you do. What were some of the signs? What what were the clues that he needed to go to the doctor? Um, Nick had um, AML and it's acute and it comes on incredibly fast. Mm. He uh, had probably only been sick for a matter of weeks but because he was so young um, you know, somebody my age might go to the doctor a lot sooner, mm -hmm. um, but he was uh, he was a lot stronger, so he thought he had, you know, aches, pains, and and then uh, unfortunately, you know, mm -hmm. we got the the full diagnosis and treatment starts almost. Well, he did start huh? immediately. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me about the golf tournament because it sounds like a bunch of fun, and I'm all about combining fun with raising money for such a great cause. Yeah, our golf tournament is so much fun, and it was started in 1997 by these two men, Bob Barker and Jim Willis. Oh, yeah. They were both going through leukemia treatment, and um, they just bonded over their mutual love of golf. So they decided to form this tournament to really raise awareness for blood cancers and to raise money. Um, Bob Barker is still involved with the tournament. He cool. sits on our committee. Um, and he is just wonderful. He participates every year. Um, Jim Willis, unfortunately, passed away right after the inaugural tournament. Oh, wow. Um, he had a son who was two at the time, and his son is now 20 years old, loves the tournament, participates every year, and each year he's our top fundraiser. That must be such a great thing about an event like this mm -hmm. because there are so many people who've been personally affected by yeah. leukemia. You're coming together to raise money for this cause, but it's got to be a reunion of some sorts, a great mm -hmm. way to support each other, right? Other people who know what you're experiencing. Ab absolutely. I mean, you know, it, it's it, obviously we all hope we will go through our lives mm -hmm. and not be touched by anything like this, but it's amazing when it does happen to find out how many people around us, people we knew, of uh, have also been afflicted by in some way, shape, or form. I love and it. So, uh, what sort of what sort of things can people expect out there on Monday? And where is the golf tournament? First of all, it's at the Tribute and the Old American in the Colony, which are two courses that sit side by side on Lake Louisville. Nice. Um, so it's on Monday morning. It starts at 8 a.m. Um, there's it's just going to be a ton of fun. We have different challenges on the different golf courses, and our honorary chair is Vernon Fiddler from the Dallas oh, yes, Stars. Yeah, very cool. So some members of the Dallas Stars will be out there playing golf. And there's nothing wrong with going out there and see, seeing some of your favorite sports celebrities mm -hmm. out there golfing, some of whom aren't very good. No, oh, yeah, that's like that's at all. <laughs> so they may look really good while they're out there, but it doesn't always translate. Like yeah, swinging exactly. the hockey <laughs> stick is way different than swinging the golf club, mm -hmm. right? So I know it's going to be a lot of fun. Is there still time to sign up? Yes, we do still have spots available, so you can still sign up if you go to www.linksforleukemiadallas.org. I love it. And such a great cause, you guys. Thank you so much for everything you do. And I love golf tournaments <laughs> this time of year because it's not like 110 uh, degrees yes. yet. So the weather's still <laughs> really nice, right. right? Good times. Good luck, luck, you guys. So make sure you go to thebroadcasttv.com and get all of this information about where you can sign up. You don't want to miss it. All right. When we return, we're talking about body language and how moms and daughters have a real connection with this. But what happens when a negative spin filters into this kind of communication? We'll have some helpful hints on how to handle that, so stay with us. Yes.